how many people have you seen completely reverse any need for insulin or completely reverse their insulin resistance? Um, it com- let's just say completely get off of external or exogenous insulin. Good question. People who have gotten off of exogenous insulin. So we're talking about people who are not autoimmune, people who are living with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes or gestational diabetes who have been di- who have been uh, prescribed insulin. Yep. to control their blood glucose. Yeah. Truth be told, I don't know the number. I stopped counting. I can't count the number because uh, the, the number got quite large. If I had to take a, a stab at it, and I would say that, you know, we have a, we've had a throughput of approximately 10,000 people come through our coaching program over the course of the last five years. Uh, the proportion of people that are using insulin is probably somewhere on the order of about 10% of those people. So we're looking at about a thousand people who have started with insulin, you know, started the program using insulin. My gut tells me that we probably are on the order of somewhere between 400 and 500 people who have gotten off of insulin completely. And, um, the other, you know, 500 people will call it, um, have probably significantly reduced their insulin, their use of insulin over the course of time, if they haven't completely gotten off of it. So what signifies, what would you say? All right. Someone's diagnosed with type two diabetes and what, what needs to happen? What biomarkers do they need to have for them to then claim, I no longer have type 2 diabetes. I have reversed type 2 diabetes. Great question. Uh, this, this concept is actually debated in the, in the scientific research. I'm very glad you brought it up because there are, there are papers that, de- that claim that people ate a ketogenic diet and they quote unquote reversed type two diabetes. Right. And if you read the papers closely, what the papers actually demonstrate, there's one, there's one company called Verda in particular, which is, uh, I actually know the CEO of Verda and he's, I consider him a friend of mine, but it's also like the, the research is frustrating because they take people with type two diabetes who have an A1C north of 6.5% and they put them through their ketogenic protocol. And then they claim that a certain percentage of them have reversed type two diabetes. If you read the fine print, the fine print tells you that their A1C went from north of 6.5% to somewhere between 5.7 and 6.4%, which again, that just means they went from type 2 diabetes to pre-diabetes. Technically Mm. speaking, they are still pre-diabetic. And secondarily, what they, that what they, they don't allow these people to exist. They don't, they don't measure them over the course of time. They basically say, uh, this group of people went through our coaching program, went through our, our you know, six month protocol and their A1C went from call it 6.9% to 6.1%. That's a reversal, which is fundamentally wrong. And secondarily, this is the thing that just blows me out of the water. They claim that even if you're still using metformin, that that's okay. You can still have technically reversed diabetes, but still be using metformin. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is a blood glucose lowering medication. And you're making the claim that you can still be using a blood glucose lowering medication with an A1C that's in the pre-diabetic range. And technically speaking, you have quote unquote reverse type two diabetes. I don't, I don't buy it for a second. The truth is that in, in um, the, if you had to ask me, how do you reverse type two diabetes? My answer is very simple. Number one, cannot be on any blood glucose lowering medications right off the bat. No oral medications, no insulin, okay? No zero pharmaceutical intervention in order to lower your blood glucose. Number two, an A1C of less than 5.7% for one year. So you need to be at 5.6, 5.6 or below, 5.7 doesn't count, 5.6 or below for one year continuous for one year continuously on zero blood glucose lowering medication. If you can do that, then you could technically claim that you have reversed prediabetes. Or type two um, diabetes for that matter. Or, or type two diabetes, thank you. Um, but anything less than that, and what you're demonstrating is that yes, you can do something that's gonna lower your blood glucose and lower your A1C, but you have to demonstrate that you can do this over the course of time. And if you can let at least one year pass with an A1C that's south of 5.7% and you can maintain that and you can do it with zero pharmaceutical intervention, then that's what I would consider to be a reversal.
And you would test that monthly or every three months or what? Every three months. So you got to get four tests. So four tests throughout the year. A1C. Yep. And, but you're Mm -hmm. saying so far to your knowledge, you don't know anybody who has done that on a ketogenic diet has shown those basically that criteria for diabetes reversal. So I, I don't know anybody personally that's done that. Um, or any research that's shown it. Yeah. So the research is actually, there's very little research that studies the effect of a ketogenic diet over the course of time. There are, there are definitely some papers, but there are not, um, there are not large numbers of paper, nor large numbers of papers, nor do those papers have a large number of people in them. And so if you take a look at the isolated handful of papers that demonstrate the effect of a ketogenic diet over a course of one year, two years, or five years, what you'll see is that there's a general reduction in blood glucose and a general reduction in insulin use. And that's okay. But the, but at the end of the one year period or two year period or five year period, the patients in this intervention groups are not meeting the criteria that I just told you. They're not south of 5.7% on their A1C and they are not free of oral glucose of, of, excuse me, glucose lowering medication. And so they're basically failing two of the tests that I think are absolutely required. And as a result of that, in my opinion, from a scientific perspective, claiming that they have reverse type two diabetes is just, uh, is, is, is inaccurate. Hey, I'm Cyrus Kambata, co-creator of the Mastering Diabetes Method, which has helped thousands of people reverse insulin resistance and take control of their lives, no matter what type of diabetes they're living with. Do you want to know all of our tips, tricks, and secrets? They're right here in our New York Times bestselling book, Mastering Diabetes, which you can find at masteringdiabetes.org slash book. If you're ready to master diabetes, pick up a copy today. You won't be disappointed.